It certainly is a lovely day when the talk is on, although it may be the end of an era with season 15 wrapping up in December. There is still so much fun and many exciting segments that are planned this season from live guests to showcasing new shows. Something this week may pique your interest. Joining me live now here on CBS News Boston, our co-host Jerry O'Connell and Natalie Morales. Jerry and Natalie, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. Thank you. Happy thank you for having it. us. Well, let's just dive right in. Season 15 is the final season of The Talk. How bittersweet is that for the both of you? You know, I think it's a lot more sweet. We're really looking forward to going out with a blast. We've got a lot of great guests coming up, but we also have um, in, in obviously it's now autumn. It's fall. So Halloween is right around the corner and we do it big here. We've got Rocktober coming back. It's a fan and viewer favorite and certainly some of the hosts favorite. We're all going to be impersonating a certain musical guest uh, from different eras and the competition begins. We're going to see who's going to take home the big lip sync trophy. I'm guessing it's going to be me. <laughs> well, best of <laughs> luck. I hope you do win. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll see. I don't know who Jerry is yet. So it's really funny working in daytime television. Yeah. Halloween is like huge. It's like a big deal in daytime TV. And I am I feel pretty confident in saying the talk is going to win Halloween this year in the daytime <laughs> space. I am challenging all other daytime shows. Wow, you're throwing it down. Yeah. I just have a feeling that we're gonna win. It's so funny. We have like it's so funny working on the talk. We have like meetings about what we're going to wear and stuff. And they're like real There's meetings rehearsals. in like offices with like PowerPoint presentations and everything. <laughs> and uh, my costume is really funny. It's uh, it's good. Oh, we so can't wait mine. to see. You know, here in Boston, we love Halloween. All you have to do is spend a day in Salem and then you might have your costumes yeah. beat. But I think they're the only I've, ones. I've been. What an incredible tour. I did it all. So fun. Yeah. So much fun. What are some of the other segments that we can look forward to uh, this week? Well, uh, first, we've got great guests this week. We've got Wayne, Wayne Brady, Cedric the Entertainer, Dion Cole, Love Alfonso him. Ribeiro. Love him. Um, and then coming up, we've got um, Holly Robinson Pete. Love her. That's, I think, in a couple of weeks. Ariana, uh, um, Ariana Maddox, Andre Day. So we've got some really great guests coming up, but. Also, on Wednesday, if you have an issue that you want us, the hosts of The Talk, to help you resolve, yeah. we ask our viewers to send in their viewer questions on, on our site, thetalk.com, and we solve your problems. Yeah. Uh, I don't Can you imagine a... Jerry O'Connell solving your problem? <laughs> yeah. I should say I don't have a degree in any sort of psychology or family uh, family practice, practice family psychology, but... Um, we do usually have some pretty funny takes on how yeah. you can fix problems. I, I have to ask you guys, what is the strangest question that you've ever received for that segment? Oh. Um, it's usually like relationship stuff. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I I can't speak for any of my other hosts, but I, I'm shocked that people come to me for relationship advice. <laughs> it's probably like, I mean, I'm I'm still married. I love my wife. I, Hi, hi, honey. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I just I'm not sure I would come to me for that stuff. But I'm on TV at least until the end of December oh, yeah. here we, on we the had, talk. So. Yeah, we had we did have uh, a man writing in saying every time he tries to tell his wife something, she thinks he's mansplaining everything. And to get Akbar's <laughs> mansplaining take on that was pretty funny last week. That was a hot one. That was a hot one. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys may already have something big planned, but if the decision was left up to you, what would you choose your last segment of this show to be? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, you know, the show's been on the air for 15 years. Um, so many people have worked here, you know. Um, yeah. I, I, I hope it's just um, 15 years is a long time. That's a terrific run. I, I hope it's a sort of a celebration of uh, of that accomplishment yeah i think a, a celebration of the accomplishment also all the great guests that we've had as well over those years so i would love to see you know some sort of compilation of of the amazing people that have come to visit us here at the talk uh by the way um i want to put in a request i would like natalie and i to come to foxborough and yes and, Sign and me ring up. the bell we we want to ring the bell yeah we want to be the keepers 
We want to be the keepers of the light. I mean, I'm putting that out there. We all work on CBS. The Patriots are obviously, yes. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, exclusively on CBS. Uh, let Natalie and I be the keepers of the yes. light. I want to ring that bell. Natalie, say, you have to go to the top of Foxborough. Okay. And you have to ring, ring this bell. Okay. I can do it. Let's make I'm, it happen, guys. Up. But WBZ, the official station of the New England Patriots, I see no reason why you can't do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Please. We are there. Listen, if... If Hank Lockwood can do it, we should be able to yeah, do it, right? Absolutely. 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 Co-host Jerry O'Connell and Natalie Morales, thanks again so much for your time today. We love the talk. We Bye. can't wait for this season. And we'll see you in Foxborough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keepers of the light. Yes, exactly. And be sure, guys, to tune in to the talk every day at 2 p.m. on WBC.